Okay, hello everybody. Um, this is my group member. This is Meng Zhu. This is Shen Xiaolong. I'm Liu Shuchang. And our topic is infringing regulatory network with prior knowledge. So our major focus is on how to translate the biological problems into the machine learning problems. So here is our available data. Uh, it is said that gene uh, transcription factors can regulate gene expressions. So our data is gene transcription factor interactions and also how genes expressions can change over time given a certain stimulus. And that's our pr biological problems. And when translate into machine learning problem, that is our input matrix, that is X. And this is our output matrix, Y. And we want to learn this model, that is how transcription factors regulate gene expression over time. So our baseline method is using a matrix X times A equals to Y. But always things are not such easier. So we want to implement more prior knowledge to improve the prediction. The first prior is using the transcription factor correlations. That means uh, transcription factors always regulate gene expression with similar models. So we implement a nuclear non-penalty in our equations and do this optimization and want this model have a similar model. And the second prior is uh, genes usually uh, express with a certain pattern within a certain module so that we cluster in the genes and then conduct the prediction. The second, uh, the third prior is that transcription pairs. That means transcription factors usually depress the gene expression only when dimer exists. So we want to add another feature for the transcription pairs. So when implementing all this method into our synthetic data, and here is how many transcription factor pairs for the total transcription factors, and this is the, our performance accuracy. We can see that this blue line is our baseline. It has such a lower prediction accuracy. Well, for, this, for these all three lines, that means we implement separate prior knowledge and the, the performance proof. And for this, uh, the top one is also we implement all the prior knowledge together, and we get a such better result. So, so that's the clinical data. Here is our baseline. We only get around 0.35 accuracies while well, implementing all the prior knowledge here. And at last, we get the highest accuracy with 0.8. So I think that means it really works. So based on this, we can get mainly get two conclusions. The first one is uh, we use machine learning method to prove our hypothesis, our three biological prior knowledge. And the second one is when um, put machine learning into practice, we can include more prior knowledge to improve its performance. That's all our project. Thank you.